Welcome, 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 collective, the Queen of Real Tarot. How's everybody doing today? Um, back here again with a message, a general message. This message will be general, okay? Um, remember to take what resonates and to leave what does not. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly, okay? Remember that energy is fluid. It could be either masculine or feminine. What do we have here, Divine Spirit? Please and thank you for the collective, for the cosmic gods and goddesses who love keeping it real with the spirit. What is the energy here? Somebody's taking their time with something here. It's the energy I'm getting here. Somebody's taking their time. I don't know, make up your mind about something, about what you want to do. You're debating. You're curious about something, but then again, I don't know. You're just like, well, maybe it can wait. I don't know. Maybe it can hold on. What's here, spirit? Brother Collective, please, and thank you. What's the energy here? What is the energy here for the collective? For the cosmic gods and goddesses, please, and thank you. What is the energy here? Holy Spirit, please. Oh, I guess you want to come out anyway. So we have awareness in the reverse. We have intuition. What else is here, Spirit, please and thank you? I mean, there's something on your mind, but you're not really letting it bother you, okay? Because I'm getting that you don't know the full details. Or whatever this is. You don't know the full details. Wow. We have intimacy in the reverse here. We also have integrity in the reverse. And we have divine masculine in the reverse. So the energy I'm getting here is that... Uh, you're not giving something much much thought, like you're not putting much energy into something here. Maybe it's dealing with some type of relationship here because um, there's something you're not aware of, okay? There's something that you're definitely not aware of in a relationship here when it comes to your, your love life here, okay? Is this would definitely interfere with your integrity. Um, wow, the way you see things, the way you view things. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you're really not you're really not putting a lot into whatever this is. Okay. Dang. It's freedom on the bottom of the deck here. Okay. Hmm. But you will be looking into this, okay, in the near future here. You'll be looking into this. Um, or whether or not you want to keep this connection, be it family, job, relationship, take it how it resonates, okay? What else do we have here, Divine Spirit for the Collective? What else is here? What do they need to be aware of? Wow. Something that somebody is going to express to you hmm, concerning love. Something that you're not yet aware of, okay? But you are, but you just don't know that you are yet. That's what I'm getting here. Hmm. If you kind of get what I'm saying. What's your divine spirit? Yeah, something you don't expect, okay? Where something's going here. You, you don't know which way your relationship is going here. Yeah. What else is your spirit? Whether this is family related or it's your partner, your person, your significant other here. What's going on here, spirit? What is collecting me to be aware of? Please and thank you.
what does the collective need to be aware of in this connection here that would kind of taint their integrity here? Hmm. Because if they knew about it and they were sure no speak about it, they would probably walk away from it here if they were aware of what was going on here. Or they walk away from this person or this family, okay, if they knew what they were doing here. But I'm getting that you haven't put much thought into it because you're not even thinking in that, that same lane that this person or these people are thinking in. What else is here? I was on here, you, you would get away from this person or these people here if you knew what their thoughts were concerning love, where it concerns you collectively. What else is here, Spirit? Please, thank you. Yeah, you would look at this person different. Okay. Hmm. This person is either judging you or you're judging this person in this relationship here. Okay. Somebody's blaming one or the other here. Okay. About why something isn't working out here. And maybe you're not aware of that. But maybe you are, but you don't know how deep this person's feelings go. Okay. Wow. What else is here, Spirit? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we have courthouse here. Maybe someone's planning on uh, you're planning on leaving someone. They're not aware of, or maybe you're not aware of. You know, uh, someone wants to serve you some papers collective. Okay. Like I said, this could be a relationship or a family matter or something here. But I'm getting that this would affect your integrity somehow. Something you wouldn't stand for is what I'm getting here. Yeah, some of you are letting go of some uh, a person in your life here. Is what I'm getting here. Okay, some of you are getting divorced. Okay, some of you are thinking about leaving your person here. And maybe they're not aware of it yet. And I'm getting somebody's gonna get served some papers here. Are you gonna have someone serve with some papers? Concerning your relationship, possibly your family, somebody in your family. What's your divine spirit? Please and thank you. Please clarify for the collective. Yeah, concern is here. Maybe you're concerned about which way this is going to go here. And you're not sure because you really haven't put any thought in it because you don't know what's really going on behind the scenes here. Okay. You don't know everything. You know something, you're intuitive, but this is something this is something you don't know about. This is something that you don't see coming. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you for the collective. Hmm. We have official here. So somebody's made up their mind definitely about what they want to do here. Are they gonna be making up their mind? This is past present and future energy about what they want to do in this situation here. We have despair here, okay. And somebody's gonna be taking somebody to court, and somebody's not gonna like it concerning a relationship here, okay. Maybe it's you collected that's taking somebody to court, uh, maybe to to get a I'm hearing a uh, to dissolve a marriage or dissolve a, a, a partnership or something here. What else is here, spirit? Maybe you're concerned about it, okay. But you're gonna make it official here. You're gonna you're gonna go through with this. Okay, yeah, because change is here. Okay, you want to change here. So maybe you will be taking uh, somebody to court to court ooh, to dissolve a union here, okay, for some of you. Okay, because this person has somehow, you're like, I'm, I'm hearing stained or, you know, did something to your reputation or tried to do something to your reputation here. Okay, and you don't want to be bothered with this person anymore. Especially if you find out what it, whatever else it, uh, they've been up to here is what I'm getting here. Relieve you in despair. It, it would be a disgrace is what I'm hearing. If you know what this person did. To the, the full extent of what they did behind your back collector is what I'm getting here. You have been set yourself free from this person a long time ago. What else is here? What else is here? Hmm. 
What does it say, Spirit? Message. Okay, there's a message coming in about this relationship here. But you're going to be letting this person know that they're going to be serving some papers here. Uh, could be a divine feminine or a divine masculine. Um, that you no longer want to be in a relationship. You want to dissolve the marriage. If you guys are married, you want to dissolve the partnership or relationship if you guys are in a relationship. Okay. Hmm. If you knew what this person did, it would, it, would, it, would, it, would, it would shock you. I'm hearing it would be shocking. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Well. This is something that's happening in the near future here, too. Somebody's working on it here. Okay. On this relationship. Yeah. Hmm. If you know what this person did, it would literally make you sick, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Wow. You're concerned about which way to go. Or you will be concerned about which way to go when you hear about what this person's done here. Let's see how this person um, feels about you. Yeah, I'm being led to pick up this deck here. Or how you feel about this person or how this person feels about you. Hmm. I'm hearing you guys need to have the conversation here. You may still be in communication with this person. Are you concerned about getting a divorce? Are you concerned about being in separation with someone here? What's your spirit? What's the collective need to be aware of? Please and thank you. Yeah, somebody hurt somebody in this relationship here. Everything that happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. Yeah. Somebody hurt you, or somebody plans on hurting you, collective, okay, in this relationship. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, you feel like your person hurt you, or like I said, this could be a family member as well. But I'm giving that this is a relationship or marriage. Somebody you're committed to. Yeah. Someone's not wanting to let go of the past here. Well. Somebody wants to know, can we rewind time and go back to before uh, we were both uh, broken down by life, okay? Our past hold us back from our future, okay? Well, somebody's not wanting to let go. If somebody's feeling in despair here, somebody's not wanting to let go of this relationship, but somebody's definitely going to make it official here that they want to let go. It's going to leave somebody pretty hurt here. I don't know if this is you or your person collective. What's going on here, Spirit? Please and thank you. This is my collective need to be aware of. My cosmic guides and goddesses. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit. What is here? Yes, yeah, somebody is, was hurt in the past here. We have emotional intimacy here in the reverse here. So, someone was af is afraid to truly open up. Are you af uh, afraid to open up to your person anymore, okay? Because being raw and authentic uh, with their emotions is something that you're still working on here. But you don't want to work on it with this person because this person hurt you, okay? And you're concerned here, okay? About the breakup here, about the breakup. Wow. Some of you may not even know that this is what, what's on this person's mind. We have gaslighting in the reverse here. Okay, we have gaslighting, but it's in reverse. So somebody's been lying and gaslighting you, okay? You weren't crazy, collective, okay? You were right. You just had to be strong enough to admit it. Admit that this person hurt you, okay? I see that you're contemplating about it. You're you ready to take this person to the courthouse and dissolve the marriage, dissolve the agreement, dissolve whatever you have with this person here. What else is here, Spirit? Hmm. Some of you thought this person was your twin flame. This is not your twin flame. Wow. Hmm. You feel like this person uh, isn't the one you're supposed to be with in your life, you know? You don't want to be attached to this person anymore. Okay, because attached to my ex is in the reverse. So you no longer want to be attached to this person anymore. 
uh, emotionally or intimate with this person or anything. You just want to, to, to let the past go here because this person hurt you. Okay, you feel like this person is just throwing you along, okay? And you're not crazy because you're very intuitive here because intu intuition is here. You're, you're very intuitive. You're not crazy. Okay, you were right, Spirit is saying you were right. Okay, and, you know, Spirit is proud of you for being, um, you know, strong enough to admit that you were right. Okay. And you're going, you know, by what you feel in your gut, what you feel in your heart, what you feel in your spirit here. What else is here, Spirit? Anything else for the collective? Anything else for the collective? Spirit, please, thank you. Yeah, you no longer want to be with this person emotionally or intimate with this person at all. I feel like this person um, tried to gaslight you, but you're very intuitive here. You know, I'm hearing that, you know, um, when it's time to throw in the towel. Okay. Yeah. You don't like things to be out of order, especially in your life here. That's what I'm getting here. But wild side here in the reverse. Yeah. You just like to be laid back and, you know, chilled in a relationship. You don't you don't like a bunch of external noise here, like, you know, people doing unnecessary things um to you, playing playing games with your heart and things of that nature. You're not down with that. One more spirit please and thank you. For the collective. What do they need to be aware of? What do they need to be aware of? I'm saying that you've been thinking about this for quite some time. Hmm. For some of you, maybe <clears throat> the past 10 weeks or longer. Okay, maybe you've been with your person for 10 years. Maybe you've been with them for seven years. It's not working out. Now you're strong enough to admit it. That you don't feel that person and you belong together. Hmm. You no longer want to be attached to this person. I'm saying you're ready to go to the courthouse and dissolve this, whatever this relationship is. Marriage, union. Just ready to let go. Yeah, you, you you may not have kids by this person, and if you do, your kids are probably adults by now, okay? So maybe there are no kids in the home, okay? But yeah, if, if then this person, if you if you still can't have children, um, the man on the man so you don't even want to have no children by this person. Now that's a no no. You don't even want to have kids by this person. I'm here. You don't want nothing to do with this person anymore. This person hurt you. This person hurt you, and. Um, you're ready to dissolve this relationship here. Well, what else is here, Spirit? This one's sticking out. <clears throat> For some of you, it may be complicated a little bit because there's a lot of things that have to be resolved before you can dissolve. There's things that have to be resolved before you can dissolve this commitment or this union here. Okay? Well... You're concerned because some of you really don't know what to do. You know, your feelings are all over the place here. Okay, but it's something that this person did, okay, that um, you know, some of you don't feel like it's the right time here, okay? But, it, but you feel like it's the right time. Maybe your person doesn't feel like it's the right time, okay, for this breakup to occur. Possibly because of some kids, if you have kids, okay? Kids are playing a, a significant role here, okay? Hmm. Let's dig a little deeper and see what your person might be into, collective. Yeah. Spirit gonna let you know what this person been doing behind your back. What's been here for my collective? The number 33 could be significant. The number 333. <clears throat> the number 22. Um, the number 222. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? Yeah, something is definitely going to be over behind something here. You are no longer uh, emotionally attached to this person or neither do you want to be intimate with this person. This person hurt you. Wow. You're going to find us with some information, okay, about this person. Um, 
where your integrity is involved here. Okay, you're going to need this person. You're a person, uh, you're soon to be asked to level up here. Okay, De definitely just going to go to court here. Okay, maybe um, you're going to find out this person was going through your phone or right, through your personal information here and you're trying to find something on you before you guys go to court. Okay, our spirit is calling for you to have faith. Um, because spirit knows that you're in a karmic relationship, but spirit is also proud of you for, you know, standing up and admitting it and doing something about it. Okay. Instead of just living through the misery is what I'm getting here. Okay. Wow. This person may throw low blows at you in court, trying to make you look bad, you know, try to ruin your reputation or whatever. Say bad things about you that are not true. Okay. They're trying to go through your phone to find some information on you, maybe text messages or, you know, um, emails or things of that nature, okay? But yeah, your person was very toxic. They've been doing a little dirty shit behind your back. If you did tell this person that you no longer wanted to be with them, they're trying to load up enough, you know, ammunition when they do go to court that they can, um, you know, put you under some sort of false light or something, you know what I'm saying? So, um, the judge could look at you differently. Okay, this person could be an Aquarius. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, your person's a cheater here. Okay. But they're going to go in the courtroom trying to make you, you look like the bad person here. Okay. They're only doing it because they're mad. They know you're going to find somebody else. Okay. Could be an Aries. Okay. Spirit is wanting you to rethink your position here. Do you want to remain brokenhearted or do you want to do something about it? What else is here, Spirit? Hmm. Yeah, well, I'll see you again. Yeah, this cheater wants to know where they see you again, Collective. Okay, use your intuition. They're plotting something here. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be an air sign, but they're plotting. Wow. This person doesn't love you. You're very guarded. Or you need to guard yourself some more, Spirit of Sand. Could be an Aries, okay? This could be somebody that's in your energy, okay? That's close to you, okay? Or this could be your... your um, Person soon to be excess plotting these things against you here. It's a cheater. Hmm. Spirits want you to rethink your position here. Okay. Some of you are thankful that that you you were guarded here. Okay. Because this person's gonna pull something out the hat that you're not expecting out of the blue here. Because they want to win and they want you to lose in court when you guys go to court here. Well. This person can't sleep at night. This could be a cancer. No more spirit. But they're going to be busted with their little bags of tricks here. That they're going to try to pull on you in the court. They're going to get, you know, they're going to get busted or whatever. But you're going to move on in, in, into a new relationship with someone else. You no longer want to be with this. I'm getting busted. You no longer want to be with this busted no more. Okay. Wow. There's too much conflict. Too much conflict there. You're tired of it. You don't want any more conflict, okay? Shit's just very messy for you, okay? You're choosing righteousness, okay? And that's why spirit is so proud of you, okay? That you're choosing righteousness and you're you're strong enough to admit that you need to walk away from this toxic toxic ass union, okay? Because you've been nothing but sad here in this relationship. You've been sad, okay? Spirit is proud of you for being the example here, okay? Wow. So, wow. This person may want to talk to you, but I'll keep the conversation limited, okay? Because this person just wants to know, um, trying to get some dirt on you to see if you got a new lover. The reason why you're getting a divorce, and this is what they're going to try to tell the judge in the courtroom that you're already, you know, seeing somebody, possibly sleeping with somebody else to try to, you know, make you look bad, okay? But it's simple, simple and plain. This buster that you want to get rid of, you know, be it masculine or feminine, you know, they need to level up, okay? That's what Spirit said, okay? Wow. And you just keep being the example collective, all right? And everything will go in your favor. Till next time, peace and I'm out.